What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we're going to talk about the market. We're going to talk about a lot of things in this video. Before we get into it, smash the like button, drop the sub, all that good stuff. Follow the Twitter. If you guys need to buy MT, make sure to hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. Links in the description. We are selling MT for very cheap. I know you guys really do want MT at this stage in the game where you can literally get a mill for so cheap. So make sure to hit me up. And yes, guys, today, man, wow, um, the market is actually somewhat high. It's kind of inflated, not really, though. We're going to go over a lot of things, mostly like Prime cards, Kareem, MT methods, kind of, I guess you could say that. We're going to talk about a couple cards that I feel like are going to get price fixed and possibly worth a pickup. So let's start it off, man. I want to talk about the Prime cards mostly because... There's a lot involved with that, man. Kawhi's 600K. Paul George is around 500K. So as you guys do know, man, we still have not get the last card. I have 1.4 mil. I'm probably going to pick up Kawhi soon. But guys, when do you think it's worth picking up these cards? In my opinion, <sighs> it's hard to explain. Um, there is definitely a lot we could talk about. Um, there's a lot we could talk about about these prime cards. So a lot of people are asking me, like, should I sell my Luka? Should I sell my Lamar? Here's the case, man. Um, as you guys know, they usually drop super packs right before we do drop the prime set. So these are gone tomorrow, which is Thursday. So we're probably gonna get prime super packs tomorrow. That's what it's coming to. Probably gonna see prime super packs now. What does that mean? What's gonna happen to the auction? Well, in my opinion, we're probably gonna see Kawhi drop to like 500, 450k. That's probably gonna be the best time to scoop them. Now, when do they drop? Right when super packs do drop. You're going to see this price fluctuate down about 100, I mean, the first hour or three. Between the first hour or three hours, when the packs do drop, okay? We're going to see him drop. And also, a couple hours later, you're going to see him rise right away. Same with Paul George, same with Luka Doncic, same with Lamar Odom. It's the same for every card. That's really what's going to happen. That's a very good idea. That's what I'm going to say right now. Um, if you really want to pick up these cards now, I really just don't think it's a good time to. Unless you really want to, they could rise in value. Now, here's the thing. I would wait till the Super Packs drop out to make sure. Why do I say this? Because here's the thing, guys. If you do not know this, um, they're going to drop. And then right when they do release the last card, or if Prime does come out, whatever. Um, right before they do release the last card, you're going to see these cards go up about a hundred thousand minimum you're probably gonna see Kawhi at 700k i wouldn't doubt it unless they drop an insane card which is very due i i think they have to drop like zion lebron Giannis, something here something really big here because they gotta make the last card a banger as you guys do know they dropped oscar robertson as the last one which is pretty solid in my opinion oscar robertson was the last card for this prime, and I still think that was a very good draw. Oscar Robertson's a very good legend. He averaged triple double in a season. We also could see Prime Westbrook, which isn't a bad, even though he is a small point guard or a prime CB3. I could see that as well. But guys, I would not pick up Kawhi right now for 600,000 MT. I would pay 500,000 MT at max for this car because, dude, that's a lot of MT for 600,000 MT for this Kawhi. He's not even a GOAT card. Very good card, probably a top three shooting guard, small forward, but still wouldn't pick him up. Now let's talk about Kareem. Let's talk about some MT with this set. So Rashad Lewis actually is down. I think he might have, he has a chance of dropping a 1.2 mil probably Friday if there is a market crash. Weber was rocking around a hunt. He sold a couple of them sold for 350k. I have no idea why, man. It makes no sense. Shaq dropped down pretty much, man. All those Evo hypes yesterday. They did end up dropping right away. They ended up dropping, thank the Lord, even though Jimmy Butler is now back at a bid, which makes no sense in my opinion. This set is very good to look over. I feel like Weber, for the cheap price of around 40,000 MT, I might have to pick up some because you never know what's going to happen. You never know what kind of super packs are going to come out, guys. 46,000 MT for Chris Weber. I feel like he might be a good pickup. He's definitely going to rise. I feel like he has a chance of rising up to let's say around i don't know maybe like 70k 
He was at 300 something thousand MT. I tried selling mine yesterday. It just didn't really work out, man. I put him up for a 100,000 bid. He ended up dropping right away. He dropped about freaking 300,000 MT in like two hours. Also, we're going to talk about this card right here, man. Kevin Durant, man. There's something in my mouth. I'm sorry. Um, Kevin Durant, man, he's pretty much price fixed. Do I think his value does rise? I don't know, man. In my opinion, he is still, he's very good point guard, man. He has a very good jump shot, very good three-point shot. He's he's 6'10 at point guard. Um, Do I think he's going to go up in value? Honestly, man, Colonel Echo's usable. Bill Russell's very usable, and so is his KD. So is Jonathan Isaac. I low-key think this KD. There is low-key a lot on the market. Honestly, if there's a market crash Friday, I'm going to have to pick one up for a mil. I think he has a chance of going up to 1.5. This Jonathan Isaac point guard small forward is very good. So is Karolenko. So is Bill Russell. So is this Giannis. This set's very usable. Now, let's talk about Giannis while we're here. If you guys didn't know, man, this card was price fixed for around, what was it? Um, this card was price fixed for around 80,000 MT. He was going for like 20 to 40K. It depends. But yeah, the fact that he is down that much is kind of crazy. So uh, what's this set called again? Oh, out of position two. So... Out of position to Giannis, man, very, very, very expensive. He's very good card. He doesn't have range extender, but yo, if you ended up picking up these cards, they might go up in value. I think one star out of packs, I might pick up a couple Giannis's. I think his price does rise, guys. The name Giannis, at shooting guard, out of what, 6'11"? Um, he's like 6'11 and a half, I believe. So this card at 6'11, you can't go wrong with any Giannis card. Do I think he rises? I think he does, honestly. I think that if KD rises, I think Giannis is going to rise with him. If KD drops, you're probably going to see one of the cards go up sky high. So any of the buyout cards like Colonel Lenko, I feel like it's worth the stock. It depends what they do drop, but it's, I feel like it's high-key worth the stock if you do pick up a couple Colonel Lenkos. He's really cheap. Would definitely try recommending sniping out Giannis and Colonel Lenko. Maybe holding on to them, see what's going on. Then again, though, Friday might be a good market crash, so then you could maybe pick them up for that day. Uh, Friday, we do see the last Prime card. Like I said, you're going to see the market go up a ton. You're going to see the market rise a lot, and that's probably going, I mean, not the market. The Prime cards rise a lot, so that is what I'm getting out of this. Pretty much, man, these cards are super inflated right now because people think Prime's coming out. Honestly, I agree with them. I see Prime coming out. Like I said, sell these cards right away, right when Prime comes out. Now, this set, man, Go Kareem, you guys did not know, man, Go Kareem was in packs yesterday in the glitch packs. Don't ask me how. I have no idea. But uh, one card you guys should probably sniping out. I'm going to throw up this filter in a video. Galaxy Opal, guys, Thunder. Um, Thunder Galaxy Opal, man, very good snipe filter. Unless you want to just go Thunder Galaxy Opal and buy out every single Opal you see for the price. Like, you can buy out Gary Payton and I believe Sean Kemp. Actually, I think Sean Kemp might be a bit. So buy out Gary Payton. And then you could snipe out this Kevin Durant, both these Kevin Durants, and you could also snipe out the new and improver Sean Lewis. So buy out Kemp for like 40k, buy out Peyton. They also are a duo, so you could use them in triple threat or unlimited, whatever you want to do. Pretty solid duo. And then you could possibly snipe out Opal KD, both Opal KDs, and Rashad Lewis. Very good snipe filter for the price of around 200k. You need 100k to snipe minimum, and then about 100k to buy Peyton and Sean Kemp. So just a little method right there for you guys you can make a lot of mt off this filter as long as you are patient so probably try it out man 200k mt about kemp's going for the low Payne's going for the low and like i said guys if you were shaw lewis i feel like he's gonna drop as we do get closer to end game he's gonna be in sick duo packs soon like i said these duo packs suck man there's nothing in these don't pop these they're terrible if you guys didn't know and also if you guys did pop the other prime packs there are new duos. I mean, there's people got free duo packs if you did pop those. So check your collection. There might be some in there. Other than that, man, pretty much a solid market talk video. That's really all I got. I'm just kind of preparing you guys for Prime. I think I'm almost 110% sure we get Prime since these super packs are ending in about 24 hours. So that's really all we got for the video. Also, man, hear about the TVG news, man. Hopefully, Shaking Baby becomes community manager. That'd be a huge W. But yeah, that's all we got for the video. Just some tips. That's really it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content later. Hopefully we get locker codes. Have a good one, guys. Peace.